All right, in today's podcast, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about multiplication. We're going to start off with an example problem. It's going to be 18 times 4. Now, one of the ways we've been doing this in the past is what we call breaking apart, otherwise known as the distributive property. What we do is we take a look at one of the numbers in this problem. In this particular case, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the number 8 as the number we're going to break apart. So what we've been studying is that we can take 18 and we can break it apart into two easy numbers like 10 and 8 because 10 plus 8 is 18. But we still have to multiply each of those by 4. So what we end up getting is two multiplication problems. 4 times 8 and 4 times 10. So we write this further into the problem by taking 10 times 4, and then we add that with 8 times 4. So we've distributed the 4 between the 8 and the 10. So we get 4 times 8 and 4 times 10. So then we can go ahead and solve these two problems. We know that 10 times 4 is 40 and 8 times 4 is 32. We add those together and we get a grand total of 72. So 72 ends up being our product for this problem. And if I could drag it up here, there we go. 72 ends up being the product of the factors 18 times 4. Now that's one way to do this. But what we're going to do today is we're going to look at how to do this a second way, otherwise known as the, using compensation. To better do this, let's take a look at another example. We're still going to use 18 and 4 as our two factors. Looking at this though, we've got a, an array here, 18 down, 4 across. So let's go ahead and write our problem down, 18 times 4. Now this is kind of a difficult problem to think about. So I want you to think of it this way. We are starting off here at 18 times 4. And we are going to move up a little bit. We're going to tack on a little bit extra to this array to make it a little easier to work with. So let's go ahead and add on. Pretty here. But we added on an array of 2 and 4 here. So if you look here at this array now, we have, let's try that again. There we go. We have an array of 2 and 4, which will give us 8 more blocks. So what we now have is an array of 4 by 20. Now if we look at, we've gone up to, we started off at 18 times 4, and we decided to jump up to 8, 20 times 4. Now 20 times 4 is a little bit easier to work with. So let's write that down here. We know that we've got 20 times 4. And the way we've been talking about it in class, looking at this, this 20, we're just going to cross out the 0. So we know that 4 times 2 equals 8. And then we crossed out one zero here. So we have to replace that here. So I get an answer of 80. Now here's the tricky part. This is where compensation comes into play. Because we know that that 80 for an answer that we received is actually combining this array with this extra bit we tacked on. So if we go back and look at this, we said that we added on 2 times 4. So I tell myself, well, 2 times 4 is 8. So I have to subtract that extra bit that I have here. So 8 times 8, that should be a math fact that we know, would equal 72. So I still get the same way 
and it's actually less work. So I sw started here, I added on a little bit to get up here, and I brought it back down by subtracting off this extra little bit of an array that we did here. Let's try another example of this without using the bit of an array. Let's try the problem 5 times 18. We'll stick with 18, something easy. So we can go ahead and we know we can round up 18. So we're going to start here and we're going to round up to 20. So let's look at 5 times 20. So we're adding on. We are moving up from here to here. So 5 times 20 we know is going to equal 100. So now 100 is our answer when we've got that extra added bit on there. So what we need to do is we need to figure out what did we add on? Well, we added on two more to here. So we actually added on two times five. Because you know, the five is still here, but we added on that two extra for the 18 to get from 18 to 20. So 2 times 5 we know is 10. So we're going to subtract that 10 out of there, and that should give us an answer of 90. All right, that's one way. Let's take another example very similar to this, something numbers different than 18, though.